Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. Today I've got a haul for you from a couple of Etsy shops. I think some of them have their own separate shops as well. I also got one of my subscriptions in and I picked up some things from Michaels. So before I jump into the Etsy or separate shops. I'll show you the items I got from Michaels. I've already opened them. So I picked up the adulting washi um, collab with Sweet Kawaii Designs and then I also picked up the dim sum and macaroon washi from Wonton in a Million and then I also got some of the um, sets. I know I got the birthday one and like one other. I already took them all out of the packaging from um, the Shine Sticker Co. So I'm just gonna show you the washi. Um, I don't even have them separated anymore by how they came, um, but I'm just gonna show you those real quick. So here is the um, dim sum and macaroon. And you know what? Not even going to lie. I don't know if this one, which one this came with, but I got this little thin purple heart washi. Then we've got this one here that was part of the um, dim sum. And my Michaels actually did not have any of these. Um, I had to order them online and by the time I ordered these online all of the sticker books were completely gone. So no sticker books for me. I'm very sad but um, I will live. So here is part of the macar macaron, macaroon, how do you say it? Um, then we've got this little pink with tiny little hearts. Um, this was part of the mac macaron, macaroon. Let's see if I can peel that up. So, and I thought about laying them out, but to be completely honest, this washi is pretty thin on this roll, if you see, and so I didn't want to waste it by spreading it out and putting it on a piece of paper. So I'm just going to kind of do this and show you all real quick, and I might cut some of this out to make it go a little bit quicker. We'll see. But the washi is super cute. Let's see. This is the last one from the Wonton in a Million collab. So these were all from the dim sum, I, like I said, I don't know about this, this heart one. I don't know where the heart ones came from, but these were some of them that I got. Then I got some from Sun, is it Sunshine Sticker Co? Shine Sticker Co? I'd actually never checked out the shop before, so I'm not completely sure. But hopefully I've got these divvied up correctly and I'll show you these. So I got these three here and I think this was like the birthday or celebration bundle. And so you've got these little flag banners here, cute little cupcakes, and then like the little characters celebrating. Then I got this set and I do not know what this one was, but this one right here got me. It was so cute with the little characters. And so I grabbed it. And then um, this one I don't really care that much for. It's pretty. Maybe I'll do a rainbow spread one week. But these girls were super cute with their little planners. Then from Sweet Kawaii Designs, I got the adulting and I can't remember what the other one was. Planner maybe. So I think this one was called Planner. Don't quote me. You can look it up on the Michaels website, and if they're still available, you can look up the name. But I took them out of the packaging already. And I actually got this because I love the hedgehog. I mean, they're all cute, but the hedgehog is definitely my favorite, so I had to have it. Then you've got cute little planner pins. And then you've got your planner girl here with her messy bun. Then I got... I don't know if this one was labeled coffee or adulting. I know a lot of the adulting stuff had coffee related. So it says, but first coffee and it's got little coffee beans. And then the cute little characters holding coffees, which is the whole reason I got it. 
and then these cute little coffee cups. So this is all of the washi that I got from um, the Michaels collab that they had with those shops. I was not able to get any of the sticker books, and it's a bummer, but um, I'm sure I will find other things to purchase, but I wanted to share that with you all. Then I got an order in from Rose Colored Days that I will show you. Oh, wait, hold up. Okay, I got two orders in from Rose Color Days that I have been hanging on to one and just paired it with these new ones. So I wanted to order some of her washi that she had that's um, the little overlay washi that's already cut. Even though I've switched planners, um, I'm still going to make it work even if it doesn't match up perfectly, but I have not even compared size. So she's been doing these super cute little um, bags that um, a lot of people are repurposing for other uses. I have not repurposed any yet, but I'm hanging on to them so that I can. Then I got the overlays. So I got the... Um, Let's see, I got the rose gold, and I haven't opened these yet, um, and I got the like mixed foil, and I think I did hollow and rose gold, but if I can get these open, we will see what I grabbed. These confetti overlays, they're just little speckles of glitter, and um, this one is hollow and rose gold, and the rose gold is like dots, and the hollow is like little stars or hold on it's a mix so they're little stars and dots it's super pretty and I know my camera's not doing it justice but then this is just rose gold and it's the dots and they're kind of difficult to peel up but I'm very excited to have them and kind of incorporate them in my future plan with me then it looks like I got this little foiled sampler here um, to do uh, this week and day off and then some little at home things. I really like that little celebration one. And then here is the journaling card that I got and that's super cute. It's got gold foil and I still haven't started using journaling cards yet, but I like collecting them. Then um, with my other order, I just got a grab bag and one of the foiled washi cards and I was so excited to get her um, new journaling cards and I got the one I wanted she's got two they're both super cute but I got the one I wanted it says you are enough and it's got this foiling on it and this is the one I wanted because um, sometimes I kind of doubt myself and so I felt like this will be very good and motivational for me and so I'm not sure how I'm going to use it yet but I will find a use for it then we've got a little foiled business card here, super pretty. And I got my washi card I ordered. What color did I order? I ordered rose gold, because I did not get rose gold last time. They had sold out before I got a chance to order them, so I got one this time. Um, and then we got a rose gold sampler. Then I ordered, and I was so excited, I got the last um, oops bag, or misfit bag. Um, because I was going to order two like I usually try to do when she has them, and it only let me order one. So that's how I know I got the last one. So this is miscellaneous. Um, I was not able to get the headers one or the non-foiled. It was just a miscellaneous one. I don't even know if the others were available. So we're just going to go through that and see what foiled goodies I got. So um, buy all the things. And it's in this very pretty blue foil. It's kind of like a royal blue. I really like it, and I haven't seen that before. Then we've got these, and these are headers, and they are in gold. Well, it says decorative borders, but um, I'll probably use them as headers. Then we got a Happy New Year and 2019, the ball drop. I'll probably use this in my memory planner somewhere. Um, we got these cute little headers right here and then some full boxes and they are in kind of um, a light gold. Um, mini weekend banners, little coffee cups, um, some pink heart checklist and it kind of looks like they've got like an ombre of silver 
And actually on camera, I think you can only see the silver, but they've got a pink to them. Then um, some cute little deco pieces here in a beautiful teal color. Some date covers. I really like these. And they've got the blue foiling on them, you can kind of see. And then a foil sampler. And I really didn't see much wrong with any of these. Um, I always love getting the Misfit bags, so anytime I get a chance, I try to grab them. And then, I don't even use washi cards that much, but I really like her, so I try to grab them when I get the chance. So, that is all that I got from Rose Colored Days. I will link her shop below. Um, if you ever see that she a, has a Misfit sale, do not hesitate. They are always great. Then lastly for today, I got my Sticker Guru subscription in. This is for February. This is for February. So you always get some little freebies from other shops. So this time we got, um, let's see, XO BNC prints. Super cute little um, sampler there. Then, um, Love Aunt Meredith. That's funny. I have an aunt named Meredith. She doesn't spell it like that, though. Then from Bodacious Prince, which I love her shop, some foil date covers. And then we've got our business card, as always, from Sticker Guru. And I get the monthly subscription. So here is February. It's very pink and Valentine's looking. Um, but I like that it's got a crown and roses and ballet slippers and swans. It's not specific to Valentine's Day. And then you've got some bows and flowers and a cute clip. Some little washi strips down here. Our holidays right here. And it looks like she reformatted some. And then we've got our deco boxes and our little calendar. So it's cute. I don't love pink, but it is pretty. Um, so I'll definitely use it because I have it. Um, and I really liked the extras that were thrown in this time around. So that is everything I got for you tonight. Um, I will link Sticker Guru and Rose Colored Days below. And then as for all of the washi, um, definitely just check out Michael's website. If you search Craftsmith, um, you'll actually find the washies that way because I guess that's how the collab worked. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.